Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Shell. Got another video for today. This is a continuation of my test server video, so part of episode 44, Sins of Black Adam, which has a release date of October the 26th. Uh, that's a comment that I get uh, pretty much everywhere, so mark your calendars, October 26th. It's a Wednesday, which makes it a little weird with the server resets, but uh, October 26th. Uh, in terms of what the content we're looking at here is the four player alert, God's Eye Pyramid. Uh, this is the regular version of the alert. Uh, there is an elite version, but there's not a huge difference between regular and alert at, uh, at regular and elite at the moment. It's, a lot of it's just like nothing visible mechanics-wise. It's just everything's being tuned up. Uh, right away, I'll say this alert kind of follows the the underlying theme of tons of ads and hallways and and rooms, but you can't skip them because the doors won't open. So you have to DPS all the ads. That's why I'm basically suiciding myself as the healer to gather everything up or try to gather gather everything up. Uh, I'm also essentially healing, actually I am healing in DPS gear, uh, just because this healer, this group was shouting for healer and I needed to bring you guys the content. So um, that's why I always pick water healer, because you can heal in DPS gear, I'm running Transtrat and Gemini, which is why I'm uh, resetting Solace uh, to stri proc the strategy card. But yeah, essentially I'm just running ahead trying to gather the ads, make this a bit faster. For regular, 100% you don't need a healer, a um, 1000% you don't need a healer. You could just run 3 DPS in a tank make this way faster. For Elite, there's going to be some instances where, I mean, you could get away with it, but it's going to, there's are some instances where, the, especially in the final boss, you're going to have a little bit of a struggle in terms of like the damage over time. I mean, you could certainly get away with it, but uh, it's probably easier to run a healer in Elite. But it, I'm, I'm holding out, uh, like I can certainly run Elite and show you the, the in terms of the footage, but I'm kind of holding out to see if there's going to be some updates to it, uh, just to get you more um, kind of a, like a relevant example of it. Because, like I said, the leap right now is really simple. Uh, it's not difficult. There's not, like I said, a huge change in visible mechanics. It's basically just everything's being tuned up a little. So, it, you know, it's the same thing, avoiding the same attacks. So I'm hoping they add some changes, maybe refresh the mechanics, and then I can bring you that uh, proper footage. But I mean, you can you can already wager how slow this is compared to what a tank would be. Just trying to gather up all the ads to keep them together. In terms of the character models, you'll be noticing that Mary. Um, I'm not familiar with the backstory of like Black Adam and everything else, so that Mary NPC is not familiar to me. But uh, she is new, and then I believe Metamorpho had a um, character model refresh as well. I could be wrong on that. We might already had the Metamorpho one, but definitely that Mary. Uh, is a, a brand new MP NPC for this uh, for this content. And just a reminder as well, you have to DPS all the ads or the door won't open. And especially for this one large room, there's, they're behind like the pillars and stuff like that. So it's very troublesome. I don't believe I step on it, maybe for a moment. Actually, yeah, you just saw the arrows there. There's the gray trap tiles. That's an interesting concept. Uh, there's, I mean, there's not really much of an issue because they're really spread out. But uh, in terms of that trap tiles, you just take, like, arrows fall, you get knocked down. It's just uh, interesting mechanics in terms of uh, having those tiles. I'm much, much, I'm, I would rather, like, have those trap tiles, like, spread out everywhere. So it's basically, like, an actual... I mean, like, when you go to, like, a... Um, watch a movie about pyramids or Egypt, whatever. There's always those, uh, you're like navigating a, uh, a pyramid or a tomb. That's the Mary NPC there. So I would rather those trap tiles be everywhere and then you actually have to try to avoid them. I think that'd be interesting. I mean, not throughout the entire instance. But. So in terms of the boss fight here, uh, you're gonna see these four stone tablets on the outside. You're gonna have a message prompt too where it says uh, like portals opening. You want to close those portals if you're like a support role you know the focus on, i mean the dps can do it too because i mean it's not a long cog you see portals opening the top right you go up and turn the cog and that's it so what that does is that it prevents the ads from spawning so uh, if the portal was left open then an ad would spawn from one of those doors now a stone slab is ready so think of it like um, a labyrinth the same concept so basically if you don't close the portals ads spawn if you stone slab the doors and the ads don't spawn from those doors so same thing, turn the portal, then the stone slabs eventually become ready. So I mean, like I said before, like a tank could run it, a healer could run it, because you could see I could still pop a shield, so at least I can pop a bubble for the group while I'm running the stone slab. That's all it is. I think here I tried to, yeah, I tried to let the portal here just so you could see the ads, but uh, John Stewart decided not to allow me to show you what happens if you screw up the portal. <laughs> So 
that's all of it. I, I should mention that the monstrosity does his one mechanic, I guess, is similar to King Shark's Feeding Frenzy, where basically he charges a player and, and basically eats them until he's lunged. Uh, lunged? I'm making up words now. Uh, lunged. But, I mean, that's really the only mechanic you have to watch out for. But, I mean, it's easy lunge to break out of it. It's the same thing. We got some more ads. Trying to skip down the hallways. I should mention as well, I, don't sh I didn't show it in this video. Don't. Be nice if I could speak proper English today. Uh, but there are some, uh, like a treasure chest. Not so much a treasure chest as what we're familiar with. Is the treasure chest for this uh, this content in terms of the new base item. Uh, it is hidden throughout the alert. Um, there's only one of it. But there is a feat for, I believe, like I'm unlocking like 30 of them or something like that. It's a counter feat. But uh, essentially you have to search the alert for that treasure chest. Because it's not obviously not in the open. So there's a lot of like side tunnels. Uh, a lot of like hidden doorways and stuff like that where it could spawn. So that's something to be mindful for. It is, it is in the feats. Same thing, another attempt for me to suicide myself to gather up all the ads. Uh, so the trinket, they, I should cover the. Everyone's asking me about the new artifact as well. That's no, I said trinket, but uh, that kind of keeps in line with me not being able to speak proper English today. Uh, the artifact is technically working as long as it's under rank 199. Um, so, worst case scenario, if that's say like by you know Monday or Tuesday, if that's not fixed yet, then at least I'll try to rank it for 199 and show you what it'll be like. And not, it won't be the final version of it, but uh, at least be able to explain somewhat how it is. Because it's, I, I don't feel like it's going to be you know setting any meta or, or basically it's going to fall into one of those like meme niche artifacts, but. There's so much going on with the artifact and like so much uh, to, to kind of break down because it's it does different effects for each role that uh, I really have to at least kind of have a video to show you guys. And probably what I, did, I mentioned the live stream as well, I'll probably make a video about the artifact and then go live streaming the next day and then kind of explain it or show people examples, kind of more than what I could do in the video. Yeah, not, to, not too much else to explain this commentary. I mean, it's just so many ads um, that you have to go through and skip. Same thing, I'm rushing ahead to suicide and, and skip all these and try to gather them up. I mean, it'd be great for, like, Electrek, Rage Prec, just to kind of mow through these. Almost reminds me of, um, I forget that alert now. The one where you fight um, Rage Al Ghul at the end. Where you had those like ads that like ninja spawned and like slowed you throughout the hallways and you had no choice, you couldn't skip them. Okay, so now we're into the ISIS fight. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost like 99% positive that's a new character model for Metamorpho. I don't know why he has that weird thing like tattoos or whatever on his face. I mean, I, I guess that changed in the comics. I just know him from like the really old like animated versions of him. So with this Isis fight, I, I don't believe it's working as intended completely yet. So essentially what will happen is, I mean, you're going to DPS Isis. There's these four pillars that you'll see in the in the four corners. Each one has a different ability where if you don't uh, basically turn the cog and, and seal it, then it's going to have uh, the effects open up. So right now we have this lunge Isis. Once again, I, I couldn't really tell you what happens if you don't <laughs> interrupt Isis. I think it, it's different for like, you know, vent takes like four times. I think a uh, regular takes seven, elite takes a different amount. But uh, same thing, you saw me turn the cog on that terminal, and I've got this wind effect on me. So basically, the four pillars represent the four elements. There's going to be like a fire one, a water one, wind one, and earth. Kind of like the fifth element. Actually, a partner's exactly like the fifth element. So each pillar has its own different effects. Like, like one's going to be like a debuff, one's going to be like a damage over time, one's going to be like a knockdown. So the, the thought process is that you're supposed to stay away from the group members if you have... The, the pillar effect on you, like I have this wind effect and I have to stay away from the group members. But 
when I'm near the group members, it doesn't seem to have any kind of visible effect. I believe it's supposed to be, well, I mean, it, it's supposed to damage it, but it was also supposed to be uh, like some kind of debuff. So same thing, you saw that the close the pillar come up, ice has come up, but I didn't see a cog. I mean, I'm guessing it's because I already have an effect, but when I run through this with the DPS, it didn't come up either. So right now you saw on that front left, the fire one was active. And now there's like a lava pool on the ground, which is just like a damage over time. So, you know, it's like 60, 70 K dot or whatever. Uh, and then the water one is to my right and earth is in the back right. The pillars don't change in terms of their locations. So the, the fight itself is still uh, like a, basically a tank. It's bank. You're fighting ISIS. You be DPS are down, but it's just that I, the, the pillars don't seem to be working as intended in terms of what they're really supposed to be doing, especially in the lead as well. Because the, the wind one always comes up in terms of the cog to be able to close it or to consume it or whatever. Uh, but I've never noticed the other three pillars. The, the damage is there. Like you say if that earth one spawned or the water one spawned, there's like a water spout. You're going to see that damage. And then uh, same thing, the uh, like that earth one you see in the dot in that back right there. It's doing basically like a, uh, like a seismic quake on the ground. So the, the damage is there. Like if you're standing near those pillars, then they're going to be damaging over time. But other than that, like the extra debuff effect or the after extra effects don't seem to be valid. Like there's one that's supposed to be like uh, putting healer debuff on you and as well as uh, stripping your defense, which uh, I never noticed when I was tanking it either. So that's why I kind of want to hold off and show the elite. I mean, the regular the mechanics are not going to be really that much of a deal anyway. It's, it's still going to be like tank and spank. Uh, but the elite one, the pillar should be mattering in terms of the mechanics, especially uh, if we're going to have an elite plus version of the alert. So that's why I want to wait until at least that's uh, working as intended or we have a better idea what that's actually supposed to do before I kind of show that in the content. So I will have the Elite Alert or the even the Elite Plus Alert when it comes out. The Elite Plus is not there. We don't even have an actual 100% confirmation of Elite Plus. I'm trying to get that. So we don't know if there's going to be Elite Plus Solo Alert or the Raids. It's only an assumption at this point. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Especially if they're going to make this content last a while. So that's the Alert. Any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.